due to heavy rains and uh, flooding uh, situation over uh, Andhra Pradesh and parts of Telangana, uh, our train running had been adversely affected. In fact, uh, we had a case of almost three trains which were stuck during uh, flooding at uh, Ran Padu station, Kondapalli station and uh, Cheru Madhavaram uh, station. Uh, Tamil Nadu Express, Godavari Express and Charminar Express had gone, uh, uh, got stranded due to the flash floods and uh, it occurred at wee hours of uh, 1st of August. Uh, Tamil Nadu Express had uh, around 1443 passengers on board. Uh, then a massive rescue operation was taken up by the division in the uh, leadership of our ADRM and Synergism and our uh, RPF staff and the commercial staff. The 30 to 40 staff had reached the station. I spoke with the Chief Secretary of Andhra Pradesh. They extended us all the support. SDRF was directed to come to Ranpadu station. Uh, boats uh, which were initially not brought by the SDRF, but the uh, inflated boats were made available by 9 a.m. in the morning. In the meantime, with the help of ropes and all, our staff had accessed the station and the trains, and uh, we were able to give food and uh, water to all the passengers on board. Breakfasts uh, were arranged in all the three trains, uh, around uh, 5,100 breakfasts were arranged. In uh, all three trains had roughly 1,500 to 1,600 passengers on board. Uh, then a massive rescue operation was planned. Uh, it was not possible, the, it was waist uh, deep uh, water level was there. And with all the luggage, uh, it was not possible for passengers to wade through the water. So uh, various, uh, measures were taken like taking a tractor trolley inside, carrying people in the tractor trolleys, carrying people on the JCPs, then bringing out them to a safe, safe area where the buses were kept. And uh, from the buses, they were, they were taken to the Vijavada railway station. At Vijavada railway station, we had kept one uh, special train ready. And in that special train, uh, they were, uh, they left to their uh, original destination. Similar operation was done at Kondapalli railway station also for the remaining two stations. Uh, the flood uh, conditions are, uh, uh, were very severe. Uh, yesterday also, uh, Prakasham barrage, all the floodgates were open and the Krishna River had around 11.5 lakh cusacks of water supply, uh, uh, water flow. Uh, we kept a close watch on the uh, bridge over Krishna River, uh, railway bridges over Krishna River. The water had raised up to, uh, to the level of uh, three meters from the uh, bottom of the our bridge, which was quite safe, but it was closely monitored. Now. Uh, the water, since then the water has been uh, receding. Uh, even at Ryan Padu now the water has been receding and uh, we have one uh, track we have made a fit. Second will be available within next uh, uh, one hour. And uh, there is one more additional line which we have the third line that will also be available by late night today. Uh, similarly at Vijaywada there had been a fl uh, flooding situation. The entire 40% uh, of the city as you might have read in the newspapers was submerged. Uh, we are uh, reaching out to our staff who are staying in the private residential areas. Luckily, our railway residential areas are not submerged. The private residential areas are submerged. So we are reaching out to our staff. We had arranged uh, accommodation for them at our uh, various training institutes. Around 100 rooms have been arranged for uh, 100 different families to come uh, for a day or two till the water recedes. Uh, food and uh, water supply has been uh, uh, given to them. Uh, apart from that, the Vijayawada yard which was submerged and Vijayawada bulb line where there were breaches were occurred, they, those breaches have been attended to. Uh, here also now the water level is receding and uh, we are making the, these lines fit for running. Uh, during this uh, crisis period also, we were able to run uh, enough number of trains by diverting them via Krishna Canal KCC Junction towards Guntur and from Guntur towards Sikandrabad. Uh, the traffic flow towards Vishakapatnam was not much affected and similarly the traffic flow towards Chennai was also not much affected. Uh, now uh, we are hopeful that by tomorrow uh, the water will recede further and the normalcy will come. Thank you.